Today on our 2010 Ford Edge, we're doing a test fit of the Kurt Folding 20x60 cargo carrier. This part number is C18151, has a weight capacity of 500 pounds and works with 2 inch hitches only. The first thing we're going to do here is take a few measurements. We're going to have our ground clearance first. That's going to be about 12 and a half inches. Our overall here is going to be about 32 inches. And our closest point is going to be about 11 inches away. Now on our edge we do have dual exhaust, one on the passenger and one on the driver's side. It's going to sit about 17 inches away, so just keep that in mind. I'd suggest putting any heat sensitive materials in your cargo area instead of your carrier. The next thing we'll check is our hatch breakover point. It's going to be the point at which anything that's stacked on your carrier might make contact with your vehicle door. And that's going to be well over 41 inches. So I wouldn't worry about moving any materials if you're wanting to open that hatch door. Next we'll show you up our, our show you our fold up position. I'm going to remove our hitch pin and, or our pin and clip here rather. We'll lift up on our carrier and then replace our pin and clip. Now we've got a ground clearance of about nine and three quarter inches. We're only adding about 12 inches to our vehicle overall. And our closest point's gonna be about three inches away. Now at our hitch, like I said before, this is designed to work with two inch hitches and you'll see a hitch pin and clip down there in place. That is not included with your carrier, although you can find one on our website using part number PC3. So that's going to be our completed look at the Kurt Folding 20x60 Cargo Carrier, part number C18151, on our 2010 Ford Edge. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.